Now, Menace made his first appearance in court this morning. According to police, he not only shot a police officer, but also held members of his family at hostage at gunpoint. Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre breaks down the details from the affidavit and what happened in court. Intense moments Saturday afternoon before and after Memphis police officers arrived on the scene in the 5900 block of Hickory Hill Square. Officers say it all started when Giorgio Menace, who was armed, stole his aunt's car without her permission just before 2 p.m. Now, police say Menace drove to an apartment in Hickory Hill where another family member lives. According to the arrest affidavit, his aunt found her car there and attempted to get it back. Police say it's when Menace shot at his aunt and his own sister outside of the apartment. MPD detailed how Menace was in an apartment unit where he held several adults and children as young as seven years old hostage. Some of those being held against their will managed to escape through the back door, according to police. Five Memphis police officers managed to spot Menace outside of the apartment unit. Police say while officers attempted to arrest Menace, he and the officers began to wrestle. The affidavit explains Minnis pulled a gun from his waistband, firing two shots at an officer, hitting that officer once in the leg. The injured officer went to the hospital in critical condition, but he has since been released and is recovering at home. Minnis is charged with attempted murder, assault, kidnapping, and theft. Judge Minnis is going to remain in jail here at 201 on a million-dollar bond. Wednesday, he will be back in court. Judge Massey says he'll be appointed a public defender. Reporting here at 201, Jeremy Pierre, Fox 13 News. Jeremy, thanks.